So we have to write a program to declare a union that contains five string variables. Then name, house name, city name, state and pin code. So um, all these are string variables. So all these are character arrays. I have skipped a pin code. You can add that also. It's all in the same way. Okay. And the question is, we have to write a program to read and display the address of a person using a variable of the union. So, earlier we learned about union and difference between structure and union. So, in case of structure, memory is allocated for each and every member of the structure. Separate memory allocated for name, then again separate memory allocated for house name, city name, like that. But in case of union... A common memory is allocated for all these members and that uh, that memory is, is the largest element size. So here all the elements are of a particular size called C underscore size. So it's a user defined constant. User defined constant we give like this hash defined C underscore size 20. So we, whenever we want to modify the size, whenever we, we want to increase in a single line you can change from 20 to 30 or 40. So this is how you uh, define a uh, this is how you give a user defined constant. So C underscore size you gave for all the character array or string variables. Then union add a. This means a is the variable of union with the tag name add. Okay, then main function enter name get us a dot name, then print of name is put as a dot name. And in last program, I have already discussed the need for F flush STDI. And in some cases, when we give a set of uh, statements to get some string, what we do is um, we give F flush STDI to clear the input buffer. There will be some junk values in the input buffer. And uh, because of that, this even though we give getters, when we execute it, they won't ask for the string. So, automatically it will be, uh, it will just execute without. So, user will not get a chance to enter the string. So, that's a real error that we encounter. So, to avoid that, we give f flash stdin. Okay, and then house name, uh, we can give like this. And dot operator is used to call the uh, members of structure or union. So, a is the uh, union variable okay and that corresponding members can be called using dot operated like a dot name a dot house name a dot city name a dot state like that okay so here they have asked to uh, read the value and get it printed so in case of structure we discussed a similar program at that case we entered all the values together we asked the values from the user and we entered all the values and then we printed it at the end. Why? Because it is possible to do like that because for each and every member of a structure, memory is allotted. So, the whatever value the user is giving, it is saved in separate memory address. But in case of union, all the different members of the union is sharing a common memory. Because of that, all the, in this case, all the members have the size c underscore size so naturally the memory allocated for this union will be c underscore size or specifically here it will be 20 so 20 bytes is allotted so when you ask the user to get the give the name using get as a dot name we get the value from the user and print if put as a dot name so now the name is saved and it is printed now, if you want house name, there is no separate memory. So, what we have to do, get the say dot house name and put the same thing we are doing. But the difference is, now the name is no longer present in that memory because now it contains house name. And after printing, when you ask for the user for city name, again, what will happen? Name as well as house name is no longer present in that memory. Now, what is present is only the city name. Okay, and the fourth, when we ask the user to enter the state, now all these earlier values are not saved in the memory. Now only the state will be present in that memory location. So this is the main difference between structure and union. And here to show that after state, I have asked to give a print of a dot name. 
So naturally you won't be getting this output. Why? Because at this instant only state will be saved. Okay, so let's check the output of uh, this code. Uh, we can check enter name, then house name. We can give like this, then city name it is Trivandrum and state you can give Kerala. And at the end, I have given to print name. But whatever you give us, put us a dot name or a dot city name or a dot house name, you will be getting only this Kerala. Why? Because in union, which data is last written in particular memory location, only that will be remaining in the memory. So, whatever put us you give in that location, only the last variable value saved. So, only Kerala will come as print. So, this is to show how union is working and the difference with structure.